Yeah, I have a reaction to the video, and today we're going to be reviewing the LEGO Technic McLaren GTR. And it's weird seeing a LEGO Technic since it's small. It's, it's crazy. I mean, this is what, like, these little panels right here would be used to, like, like build, like, the sides and stuff. But now it's used for a seat, and, like, the, look how tiny that engine is. That V8 engine is so tiny. That's crazy. And then I have the steering up here. Oh man, that is. It has a lot, a little bit of tension. What is going on? I wonder. What is going on? Probably the surface making all the tension happen. But yeah, there's a, a lot of dust on it. A lot of dust because I don't you I don't really use these ones the smaller Technic sets these are like like this is what you can get for like 50 bucks I think and you know it's nice I mean you take it compared to not even a finished um car like this I mean look at the size difference it's crazy sorry that's on bag four, so, yeah. This one was like 800 pieces, that one's like a thousand more, so. Yeah, it's uh, crazy. And I don't know what that is, something. Only uses two of these on top as a roof. It's got a pretty nice spoiler. Yeah, these were like one of my first Technic sets, and it's so weird not having suspension on these. Like I try to use suspension, it kind of just bends the plastic where the wheels are connected on their bays. Like this doesn't even have a differential. Like the where, where the differential is. So it's got the gear where the engine moves. It only move. It's only connected to the the uh, so left wheel, and they're they're so dirty. Like these wheels gain so much like dust on them and stuff. These these wheels on the back are way bigger than these, but these are connected on a the. I can probably here. Let me take off the the hood. It's it's fixed, but you could still take it off. There. Man, there's so much tossed under here but here's what it looks like here's the uh the mechanism where it turns it's a um it's not a single t -t 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 -t. it's a uh, a bar turning system so it has to go across this and that turns the wheels and then it stops turning it whenever you get to that and then it locks itself and then you get to go back. So that's pretty much all that's under the hood, just a ton of pins. And then here's the hood, which I'm missing a piece right there. Yeah, I kind of just, these two pins just go into those two holes and then just pop it, in, pop it on. So, yes. Um, in the, the rear, uh, you have the, the, en the engine. What's happening? Okay, okay. Right, I fix that. Right. Um, no, no, I didn't. Uh, here's the diffuser, which is like, oh no, I got the um. Here's the diffuser, which is kind of loose, and I'm missing a piece on it. System pieces aren't really good at staying, but there's the engine, and you can see if I move it, that one is kind of stuck there. I don't really like this kind of engine. I think it looks a little weird. But I mean, it's a small car. You can't really fit a V8, a, a piston styled V8 engine in there. So, you know, you gotta work with the space, and it's a good compromise. And it's way easier to build. I just, it sucks that there's no differential in it, and um, it's got a steering wheel. In there, um, man, it is so dirty in there. Dang it. 
but yeah, that's the steering wheel, and you can got wind open doors, let's click around, open up the doors, and then look, that's like part of the, the engine, you can see, but here's the steering wheel.